In this lesson, we will describe a phenomenon known as photochromism, which involves color changes of certain types of molecules with light. Photochromism is the reversible change of color of a substance by the absorption of light. The word photochromic is derived from photo, meaning light, and chromic meaning color. Thus, a change in color with light. Put another way, photochromism is the reversible transformation of a chemical species from one form to another, where each form absorbs a different wavelength of light. Photochromism was first discovered in Germany in 1899 by chemist Willy Markwald. He studied the reversible color change in the solid state of a naphthalene derivative with the structure shown in the diagram. Markwald called the effect phototropy. In the 1950s, Yehuda Hirschberg of the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel studied the effect. He found that the effect could take place with both organic and inorganic compounds as well as biological systems. Dr. Hirschberg was the first to describe the effect as photochromism. One example of photochromism, is color changing lenses for sunglasses. As shown in these photos, self darkening glasses are clear in dimly lit conditions, but become dark in sunlight. The sunglasses shown in the photos were developed by Corning Incorporated. Photochromic sunglasses are made using an organic compound known as naphthopyran which has the structural formula shown in the diagram. The red arrow shows, that there is a weak bond between the oxygen atom, and the carbon atom attached to the two benzene rings. When ultraviolet light, from the sun, shines on the naphthopyran molecule, the energy from the light causes the weak bond to break. As shown in the animation, when the weak bond breaks, the electrons shift positions, causing the opening of the ring, and formation of the structure shown on the right. This new form of the naphthopyran molecule has a deep purple color. This diagram shows that the ring closes spontaneously in darkness, to reform the colorless form of the naphthopyran molecule. Therefore, photochromism is a reversible process. In sunlight, it forms the dark purple form of the molecule, while in the dark, the molecule changes back to the colorless form. Now let us ask the question, why is the naphthopyran molecule colorless in the dark, and purple in sunlight? The answer is, that molecules containing what are called conjugated systems of electrons, absorb light in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. The diagram shows the electromagnetic spectrum. Note that the longest wavelength of visible light is red, while the shortest is purple. Colorless substances absorb light only at shorter or longer wavelengths than light in the visible region. A conjugated system is defined as a molecule that contains a long string of alternating single and double covalent bonds, as shown in this diagram. The longer the conjugated system, the longer the wavelength of the light absorbed. In the dark, the naphthopyran form of the molecule absorbs a very short wavelength of light, not in the visible range and is therefore colorless. Reversible photochromic dyes are also found in applications such as toys, clothing, and cosmetics. Photochromic nail polish is made to change between desired colors by using combinations of permanent pigments. 
This presentation was produced as a public service to help middle school and high school science teachers develop experiments, presentations, and demonstrations that can be used in their classes. More science experiments and demonstrations are available on the Tops of Santa Clara Valley website, www.topsofscv.org. Tops, Teaching Opportunities for Partners in Science, is a program aimed at stimulating greater interest in science by middle and high school students.